Do you think that the Fed stops its pace or stops its hikes before that 5% number if it sees things are, are going towards 5%, that, that things are yes. loosening? Yes, definitely, Melissa. I mean, the Fed has talked very tough, but right now they could hide behind low jobless claims and a pretty decent labor market. Uh, they're going to fold pretty quickly, in my opinion, if the job market starts generating one, two, three hundred thousand job losses a month. It won't matter where inflation is. The Fed knows inflation is a lagging indicator. The market will leapfrog any of the future weakness in inflation. will start the price in Fed easing and the Fed will be cutting. Unwind. And, and at what point do you think this also will have upward pressure on interest rates? So, Tim, I, the balance sheet is really impacting liquidity and you've got an inverted yield curve. Uh, so I don't think the change has been a function of, of the balance sheet. It's been a function of where the market thinks the terminal rate is. And with the exception of the move last week in gilts, which pushed the yields up to 4%, the basically the third month out euro dollar contract, fourth month out has, uh, or fourth contract out has basically predicted one for one the movement in the funds rate. So for example, if the Fed was to start pivoting in the spring, which I believe is very possible, you'll see the 10 year note rally substantially. Hello and welcome to the first ever video in this series. Um, this is the Financial Freedom Show and I'm going to give a weekly update on my portfolio as it goes up and down with this crazy market. Um, I'm going to stick to investment principles. Uh, I'm going to invest in index funds and um, individual stocks here and there. I want the main focus of this portfolio though to be on index funds and dividend investing. Um, I'm going to continually add to this every uh, two weeks as I get paid. And we're going to see uh, how much we can grow this portfolio. My goal by the end of this series is to grow this portfolio to a million dollars. Um, I was highly uh, influenced by Joseph Carlson to make this channel. Um, I've been watching his channel for quite some time, but I believe that the focus of his channel has gotten to more of the individual stock picking and as opposed to um, index fund investing. So I thought it would be interesting to start this channel to see how it performs to invest in index funds as opposed to the individual picking that uh, Joseph Carlson does. Um, the first thing you're going to notice in this portfolio is that I've already invested in an individual stock. Um, this will not be the normal though. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be adding to SCHD as well as VOO. I'm going to continually add to those two funds mainly. Um, I could possibly change my index funds in the future, uh, but I plan on holding these two index funds mainly for the rest of my life really um, until I am ready to retire and uh, take my profits. So. Um, I would love to have everybody join me on this journey. Um, I'm, as you can tell, incredibly nervous. Um, I've never done anything like this before. So uh, if you could please subscribe uh, in order to stay up to date with my portfolio performance. I will also review some of the news uh, in the market uh, on a weekly basis. It's going to be highly inspired by Joseph Carlson's show, um, just this way uh, with index funds and we'll just see how it goes. Um, as you can see, I'm currently a little under 10,000. Um, I had added 10,600 to this portfolio, but the market has gone down since. Um, but the market has gone down since. Um, as you can see, it was at one point uh, up to about 28,000, but I had to take that out in order to uh, do a down payment on a house. So uh, this is going to be a fresh portfolio. I want to restart uh, at 10,000 and just grow it from there. And uh, I'd love to have you guys on this journey. So something else you're gonna notice is that I have earned dividends of 690. Um, I will plan on growing my uh, earned dividends over time. Um, Right now I have Stag Industrial, which is a 5% dividend yield uh, REIT, but I plan on transferring that over to SDHD and VU once this goes up. Um, as you can see, Stag is kind of beaten down. Um, the average price 
earlier last year was $41. So uh, it's quite discounted right now. Um, I'm hoping that it goes up to that range eventually. Um, that would double my investment so that I could return that back into VU and SCHD. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the news for today. Uh, we just had the September jobs report come in. Uh, it was much higher than expected, which means that the Fed is going to have to hike rates more in order to uh, tighten the economy. So as you can see, investors were less pleased than September's job numbers totals came in a bit stronger than expected. With 263,000 jobs added to the U.S. economy last month, the Fed's rate hikes may not be having the slowdown effect that policymakers had hoped for. The Fed was hoping that a long series of historical rate hikes would slow the economy down and bring inflation lower, but the job market remains stubbornly robust, which means that the Fed is going to have more room to hike interest rates. So that could possibly mean that the market is going to go down for the rest of this year. Uh, what they're expecting is that the market is going to go down today um, in order to price that in, but I'm just going to stick to my guns and keep investing uh, as the market drops over the next year, which I'm expecting. I'm just going to keep adding um, dollar cost averaging. So yeah, uh, this is going to be a, uh, it's going to be a weekly series. I'm going to go over my uh, portfolio performance every week and just give us a brief overview of what's going on for the day. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and this format. Um, please feel free to give me any comments or any feedback. I've never done anything like this before, so this is all new to me. I'm sure over time it will improve. Um, if you could please subscribe in order to stay up to date with my portfolio performance, I'd greatly appreciate that. So until next time.